Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another gacha video with me. As you can see, we are almost close to entering the new month. When there is a new month, basically there is something to be bought. So if you guys um, have enough of the in-game currency, the ones at the top here, make sure you purchase the affection items under the UC currency exchange. Yeah. Um, as you can see, they have not been reset yet because it's still... Well, in Japan, it's still the 29th of September 2018. So they'll only be reset, uh, well, on the 1st of October. So guys, be patient. It's just two days away. Um, so yeah, don't forget to purchase all the important um, stuff here. You know, unless you have purchased the Uta Maku Pass and it's... Um, anxiously waiting to collect the uh, premium gift to use it uh, on your divas instead of all these um, standard affection items okay so let's talk about um, the gacha itself uh, so let's see we all know it is now Freya's turn to shine with her Adele Swan costume so let's take a look at the episode play and see whether it's actually worthwhile to toss in all your singing stones just for Freya's brand new uh, episode plate. Of course, it's always beneficial to actually just get the episode plate for the costume points because right now the event is not giving the costume points for free. Uh, instead, you'll be unlocking a brand new Draken from the Windermere side of the uh, Macross Delta universe. So guys, Let's take a look at the episode plate. 3,378 total score. Well balanced in terms of all the points. The 4 divas equipable of this episode plate. Alright, total, sorry, center skill. Units total will be increased by 20% up. Not the best center skill out there. So, knowing that, we probably can tell straight away that this episode plate is more of a... Uh, life support episode plate. So let's tap the next tab and you can see straight away your life skill is of S rank. But let's talk about the active skill first. Recovery of life 30% up. So yeah, um, like I said, this plate is not meant to be used as a center episode plate. But if you have to use it, I think there are better options out there compared to this one. So leave this episode plate just as a life support. Uh, uh, use okay, so let's talk about this life skill now. This is the first of its kind We have never seen a life skill uh, Like this before so let me just explain to you how you guys can actually make use of this First of all, let's talk about its effects at the 60 second mark for 16 seconds every time your life depletes by 20 All right, your score is increased by 100% up so that's pretty interesting um, so the, as long as your HP is below the 20 uh, as long as you drop 20 HP within the life itself um, you you definitely get a hundred percent boost which is the first ever um, I think it's no no it's not the first but you know we don't we rarely see a life skill with hundred percent up most of the time it's just 80 percent up and, but the way it is activated is the first of its kind. Basically, you need to have your life depleted. So, with this said, my guess is this current events challenge is your HP will decrease um, while playing the life itself. So, that's why the life skill does activate, giving you that 100% up if you have this episode played. Equip. Uh, in your diva setup so guys it's strangely enough it's life skill support it's not for um, general use because if your HP doesn't drop let's say for example if you're aiming for a perfect uh, perfect full combo this episode plate will not do you any good because when you do a perfect full combo your HP will not deplete at all you know Unless you're purposely going for a high score, then you miss one or two notes. But what's the point of missing a few notes when you you can just tap a perfect full combo and get a very good high score? 
probably with another plate that has a better life skill uh, out there. So guys, if you're thinking about getting this episode plate just for high score purposes, I would uh, highly recommend you not to do so. It has a very nice <laughs> illustration for its episode plate though. Um, straight, sadly to say, no special notes attached to this um, episode plate. So guys, with all that said, here is my conclusion. Is this episode plate worth pulling? I would say no. <laughs> so, um, if you do get this episode plate, consider it as a... Uh, how is it a quicker option to unlock uh, Freya's uh, Adele Shawn costume? Uh, other than that, this episode plate is really nothing that special. It it's probably useful only in terms of events such as this, the ticketing events, where most of the time the challenges for the event uh, is when you're playing the live, the, your HP just continuously drops. So guys, with that in mind, um, do save up your Episode Ops, uh, sorry, not Episode Ops, your Singing Stones for the next gacha. We don't know, we don't know if there is another um, gacha banner for this current event. Usually there is, but who knows. Um, or maybe save up for the upcoming events gacha, you know, because usually um, they might have something that you really want to obtain from there. Alright, so let's try pulling this. I won't be spending too much on this. I'll uh, probably just do a 10 plate pull and that's it. Uh, hopefully we'll unlock um, Freya's costume to take a look at the effects of the costume itself. Alright, so let's do this. Alright, we know what we want to see, so let's just hope for it. Uh, oh! Wow, one plane and a golden rock. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> now, this is pretty something. Um, I guess this new account is getting a lot, uh, a lot of better results than my main account. Oh, it's pretty lucky this time around. So if you're wondering if I have rewrote this account from the last one, uh, this is actually the same um, previous account. I have not rewrote that account yet, so here we go. Ooh. Okay, I'm not complaining. Uh, definitely better than getting that free episode played though. Alright, so um, it seems like this account is pretty awesome. <laughs> Um, it has pretty decent episode plates though, uh, although it's brand new so that's why you can see there's like so many stuff with the new word. Okay, so we do get a few plates that uh, does give us the Freya costume though. And if you're wondering why I sound so dull, it's because I'm really exhausted and I'm feeling a bit sick. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to keep this at episode uh, short. Uh, okay, let's go take a look at the costume and see whether is it worthwhile to use all the uh, episode orbs to power up the costume for points. I mean, to... Uh, uh, you see, I can't even build a sentence properly. Uh, I mean, use the episode orbs to gain points to unlock the costume. So, yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh no no, I'm I'm on the wrong page. I should be on this one. I do have Freya as Diva unlocked, so it's a good thing. At least we can view the costumes. Okay, let's see. And there. Are... Okay, so looking at this, the costume gives you a total and support plus three percent up. So that's pretty interesting. Um, if you're comparing with the rest of the other costumes, um, I think total 3% up is pretty useful. Um, compared to her main costume that only gives stats 2% uh, up, you know. So total is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, I think the costume is definitely worth unlocking. 
but obtaining the episode plate itself is another thing. So I guess if you really want the points, uh, hopefully you don't get it by get, uh, gaining the 5 star plate, but rather obtaining it from the, the 4 star plates, the 3 star plates available for her costume. Yeah, so ho hopefully your 5 star plate uh, appearance will give you something else other than uh, Freya's brand new plate because I think that plate itself is not really worth the effort or money to invest in. Uh, if you have gotten the plate, uh, you know, it's I think it's still good for collector value, you know, but in terms of use as a hardcore Uta Macross player, that plate isn't so effective in terms of high score challenges. Uh, like I said earlier, so guys, uh, yeah, um, I haven't really unlocked the Draken for the event, but you know it's always nice to have extra Valkyries available for Valkyrie operations. Um, I know that Frontier and Delta has too many planes right now. We're lacking in the department of uh, Macross and Macross Seven. <laughs> so yeah, you just have to play smart like what I mentioned in my Valkyrie Operation tutorial video. Um, balance out the teams for your Valkyries and uh, yeah, you should do fine. I mean, you have plenty of spare planes from Frontier and Delta so yeah, just play smart guys, play smart. Alright okay, guys, before I forget, uh, I almost forgot to mention that the because it's a brand new month as well, um, the Zodiac medals have changed. Of course, the episode plates um, exchangeable within the Zodiac medals exchange. Uh, it has well swapped out. So right now, the brand new episode plate that we can actually obtain for the Zodiac medal exchange is books. And let's take a look at the effects and skills for the current episode plate. Center skill, units. Uh, support unit and support uh, well, increases by 10% up yeah so mm, if you're lacking in the support department when it comes to fighting enemies in the life uh, books episode plate definitely will become useful um, then for active skill for 7 seconds well basically you will have an easier time tapping notes so um, very good for missions that require accuracy in tapping, uh, especially if like, you don't want to break combos and that kind of thing. So yeah, um, life skill, at a 50 combo mark for 3 seconds, your score is increased by 10% up. Now do take note, all these numbers for the skills are at its lowest because this we are looking at it at a 5 star episode plate perspective, not a 6 star. And no special notes attached to the book. So let's compare it to a 5 star version of the other plate that you can exchange for, which is Elto's um, Draken. No, not Draken, uh, Durandal. <laughs> yeah, so here we go. Uh, unit's life increases by 10% up. So another episode plate that helps uh, with missions. If you need HP, I guess, for this current event, then yes, Elto's plate will definitely help you out. Um, active skill for 7 seconds your damage is reduced by half so another active skill that is mainly to clear missions so both cannot be compared equally because they don't have exactly the same kind of skills but they do um, tackle the same kind of issues which is basically missions and for life skill at the 60 second mark for 4 seconds your score is increased by 25% up. Now this we can compare since both life skills have to do something with score it seems like Eltos is doing a lot better than Bokes. So that, with that in mind if you want to use these free episode plates as a free to play player uh, for high score challenges, I think Elto's plate is the way to go um, since both episode plates have no special notes attached to them. So if you want to compare again with Box, Box increases only by 10% up and it only lasts for 3 seconds. Um, so guys, if you really really want the score boosting capabilities 
I would say go for Alto's Durandal. It is definitely better than Bokes. But of course, if you're a collector for episode plates, you definitely want to go for Bokes because his is a brand new episode plate. Um, while Alto's is definitely an older episode plate. If you've already gotten Alto's plate evolved fully, um, and you want to collect Bulk's new episode play image, I will highly recommend you to go for Bulk. But when it comes to playing the game seriously, uh, if you are a free to play player, I will highly recommend you to spend all your Zodiac medals exchanging for both copies of Elto's uh, instead of getting Bulk's episode play. Uh, yeah, so guys, um, that's pretty much it for all the information I have for this current uh, month's zodiac exchange plus um yeah the buying of the affection items plus the gacha for the brand new event uh hopefully you find this information useful if you do let me know by hitting the like button and of course commenting down below if you appreciate it uh share the video to any of your friends who actually are interested to play ultra macross because the information i do here it's a lot different from the standard I think YouTubers who actually upload all the Uta Macross videos instead. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I can't say thank you enough every video. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next Uta Macross video. Until then, bye!